G'day and welcome to Infrunners. This is kind of an unpromptu episode. Um, Algren and I got a message from someone claiming that the text on the uh, cargo pods, which you can see here, had changed. And I put a whole episode together based around it. I thought, oh, okay, that's cool. We'll put, put an episode together. And then when we actually went to double check the text, it hadn't changed. But I'd already put this all together, so we're going to do the video anyway. Uh, but long story short, uh, what this video about is about is the evidence that we have that the endeavor is in set to increase in size. Um, and we were initially going to do it based on the fact that we thought that because of this evidence this person had sent to us, that it may increase by the next sale. But that no uh, now no longer looks like it's the case. But still, it's a really good episode that we can give to you guys to show that you can uh, pick up a CCU before the sale ends in two days. I was literally just sent a file from the uh, Q&A, mm -hmm. the original Q&A. And the Q&A's uh, landing bay uh, description was, it's fairly spacious, 30 metres by 60 metres by 10 metres in volume. To work, fairly well gameplay. Uh, mm -hmm. You'll be allowed to safely store, transport, launch, refit up to four ships that will fit inside that space, a Cutlass Red and a pair of 300s, for example. Um, so that, I think, at least helps aid in terms of that description. Yeah. Um, because you said it does describe... 30, by, 30 by 60 by 80, is that what you said? 30 by 60 by 10. Okay. 60, 60. Able to okay. fit up to four ships that fit inside that space, mm. a Cutlass Red and a pair of 300s. Okay. A so back at, the, back at the very least then, that would be the metrics for the old Cutlass because we also know the new Cutlass is, is increased in size and that's how old this ship is. So... Yeah. Um, Based on that, I would still say what we were going to talk about is still relevant. Uh, so what we'll do is I'm going to flick over to the browser real quick, and I'm just going to show you the kind of math and stuff that we're going to go through here today. So this is Port Alisa. Uh, this shows the size of pads, quite obviously. So you've kind of got your small pads, your medium, two medium pads, and a large pad. Um, and basically, if the cutlass, if it can fit two cutlasses, end to end, which is the way that design was originally done for that hanger. You're looking at that pad there being the size of a hanger. And yep. the length of that would be um, at least uh, 60. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll do the math for you right now. Oh, well, thank you. The, uh, the Freelancer is the biggest ship that can fit on that pad. And it is currently 38 meters. If you also go over here again uh, and look about a th roughly a third, so we're doing rough map here, roughly a third of that middle section of the Endeavour, and we know it has three slots, and we know that the middle slot is taken up by this cargo bay. So if I also turn on my handy dandy calculator, it should pop up. Nope, it didn't, because I don't have it open. Give me two seconds. Uh, there we go, a handy we go. dandy it popped calculator. Up. Cool, all right, cool. Oh, it's got this weird effect when I moved across the top. Anyway. Um, yeah, so if we go back to the, uh, to the length of the Freelancer and we put in the length of the Freelancer is 38 meters, we times it by three because we have three slots in the middle. It's 114 and that's about a third of the length of the ship. So we times that by three. We get a ship length of 342 meters. Now, currently, if you look at the length of the Endeavor, which is just here, the current length is set at 200 meters. So at minimum that ship is, is going to almost double in size because it's going to go from 300 to 342. So not quite double, but that's still a significant difference. Mm. Um, but we also have the Apollo in the works. Um, and the way it also says the landing bay pod slings a single large hanger underneath the spacecraft. The landing pad has uh, multiple cutlass reds. Now, yeah, multiple seems to imply to me more than two. More than two. Um, and if you also look at um, back at this image here, back at the top-down view of Wallace. Now these are medium pads. These are large pads. Small, yeah. medium, large. Not it's not it's not too. Well, I'll, I'll do it with the red circle. Small, medium, and large. So it's not that hard to follow, right? So if if it is a so we're going to go through the three examples. The first one we went through was just if they're two two smalls and they just fit cutlass reds, which is what they said all the way back in the day. And we also yeah. know that that's possibly changed now, right? So if we take it a With step the, up, and we and go we'll the get, Apollo needs to be able to land there as well. So we say okay, yeah. let's look at say just a medium pad. Yeah. So this is the Retaliator. 
the length of a retaliator is 69.5. So we do the same thing in our calculator as before. 69.5 times 3 equals 222. Oh, shish. I did, I did the wrong number. 69.5 times 3 equals 208 times 3 equals 625 meters 0.5. So that essentially means the ship will have tripled its length from what it is currently at 200 meters. But the other part that we have to go back to, and this is, the, this is if it's a best case scenario, and we're not saying this is what's going to happen, but this is best case scenarios, it literally states large hangar. Now, hangar can also be seen as a large pad. I'm not saying that that is the case, but that is the best case scenario, right? So the last... And the, best case, and okay. the last pad is that, if you go to that top-down view again, the, la the, the large hanger is that double zero hanger uh, or pad. And that one is significantly huge. And when we and do the map for that, interestingly, the, we'll find. The biggest one is a carrick. So if we take the carrick at 162.5. The other thing I do want to point out that we didn't say at the start is this is just the ship lengths. Obviously, pads are slightly bigger again. So this is a mm -hmm. minimum for each of these three spaces. So a carrick at 165 times three equals 379 so what just to be clear that's this part here so that's just that's just the oh god i wish i could turn this circle sideways but it's just that medium section so below the circle and currently above the circle i hope that makes sense it probably is terrible but yeah so just the middle section of the endeavor there right and then when we go back to this We've got the middle section at 379, which is the carrick itself times three. So we then times it by three again to get the full length of the endeavor. That's Bengal size, ladies and germs. 1.1 is the length of a Bengal. And that fits in with the information Paul had heard. And people have been saying, oh, where did you get that information from? And uh, I, I can't say, I don't know where that came from, but this really does just support that kind of idea that and the, the information Paul had, had. So for us, it's like going, well, there's the evidence as to as one of the reasons why we think the endeavor is going to grow um, and possibly why it will end up being Bengal size. So best case scenario, Bengal size. Minim uh, worst case scenario, it's still going to be increased by 100 odd metres and middle case scenario, up to 600 metres. Um, yep. And at present, as Execute will show you here, you can currently get an upgrade from a Gemini. Is that a Gemini or just a standard? That's a Gemini. So a Gem um, Starfarer Gemini to an Endeavor for? Yeah. 10 bucks. And um, 10 bucks. because that's in-game, it's not likely to increase in price. Um, mm. So even if you can't get it straight away, um, you can wait till there's a sale and the Gemini's available and your upgrade's there. So a kind of recommendation even though that this information hasn't quite panned out the way we thought it would, is pick one of these up and sit on it. I picked up a whole bunch of them. Uh, I picked up one for myself, but I've got a lot in buyback just in case I, um, like before the next mm. sale, I'll, I'll, I'll pick them all back up before then. Um, but yeah, I, I, this is the, you know, you took, people talk about the Banu Merchant Man and how much that increased in size and look at the effect that that's had on the community. It's, in, it's price hiked twice. Yep. Um, Heaps of people upgraded through it. Uh, this is the next banner match man in my book. Um, yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. And it's it's something we've been saying for years in terms too, of the endeavor, just what it has to be. Yeah. Um, and people often say, why do you say that? What's, what's your evidence for that? And I suppose in a sense, this is one of the pieces of evidence that we've always kind of had at the back of our mind as to why this has to be mm. so big. Um, and we know that's happened with other ships, Algrid, the Carrick, mm. a whole bunch of other ships where um, other ships have changed, so it's made them have to change. Well, the um, Idris is a classic example, isn't it? Crucible's another. There's a, there's a whole bunch yeah. of them. But I would say out of all the ships that we recommend, this is the one that's probably going to balloon the most or increase in size. Yeah, I, I think definitely. And it's just one of those ships that, in terms of your gameplay, it may not be a ship you can solo, but it's certainly a ship that you would take ages to grind for. Mm. And if you can pick it up fairly cheaply, it's something you don't have to worry about in-game. So so the hard part about this recommendation, though, Agrid, uh, that you'd kind of agree with, is how big is it going to get, right? Because yeah. if it gets too big, you surpass all the CCUs you can change to, 
and you can't use them. So, for example, if it becomes more expensive than the Polaris, there's nothing you can upgrade to and you are stuck with an Endeavor. So that is the other part you need to keep in the back of your mind. Do, are you going to be happy with an Endeavor if that's all you can get with that CCU? Because if it goes to, you know, bigger than the ship that you want to side grade off to, you can't. So that, yeah. that, that's, that, that you'll have to weigh out for yourself on a case-by-case -case basis, but that's, but that's one of the reasons we recommend this ship so highly. If, if people get the CCU and sit on it and don't apply it, you, you, can always, you can always sell it or melt it off. And even if you do apply it, you can always yeah. melt it and go backwards. So it's not the end of the world if you do, but you've got to be aware you might not be able to CCU again off it to get mm. something else. And, and, it, and it's a long-term investment too, because it's, it's yeah. $10 and you're going to have to probably sit there for a while until this ship comes around, until they uh, do a reconcepting or whatever. Yeah. And when the way you see John Crew eye roll when he hits this ship, you know it's going to be a while because he's just like, yeah. it's too much work. But sometimes if you sit on your CCUs, you can end up making an absolute saving on, yep. on new ships. Mm. And, and that's do you, do you care to share to how much you paid for your Perseus at all? It's up to you. I won't. Uh, I won't force you. But you got a very cheap price on that, did you not? Two hundred and ninety-five dollars, which is a steal, without adding any new cash. Yeah. So I used I used credits. If I'd used cash, I probably could have got an even bigger saving. Yep. Using war bond discounts, mm. so two ninety-five. Uh, just to let you know, I did tell that to our one of our grey market contacts, and he was very jealous. You know who I'm talking about, so yeah. <laughs> All right. So, if, so that's he's the been, CCU game and how it can help you. Yeah. So, so that's yeah. he's been Arid. I've been Execute. If you like this content, like this content, subscribe, all that type of thing. Um, we're still trying to push uh, the referral code for Osiris. He still needs a couple more referrals. Um, let us know in the comments below. Uh, do you see the long-term investment in the Endeavour paying off, whether it is both for uh, the Endeavour itself or for um, the ability to upgrade into something else? Also, I will chuck, uh, I'll do it up in the corner up there somewhere, uh, a card for our episode on the Endeavour if you would like to know more about that ship specifically. Mm -hmm. All right. As I said, he's been yep. I've been executed. We'll catch you and next we're time. out of here. Take care.